This is the Akron News Now update. I'm Lindsay McCoy. A local serial killer switches his plea. More pink slips for safety forces and it's a new year. Maybe you're working on a new you. We have fitness tips to trim that waistline. But first, everyone is talking about the snow and the wintry weather that's making its way to the Akron area. And I have the rundown of what you can expect. The National Weather Service first stop has issued a winter weather advisory until 10 a.m. Friday. A lake effect snow watch is also in effect from Friday morning through Saturday morning. The snowfall begins this afternoon with about one to two inches of accumulation. Then the snow intensifies tonight with another two to four inches expected. We'll have a high of 27 degrees today, high of 21 Friday. And as the temperatures drop, we'll see more snowfall three to five inches on Friday. As we look at our weekend, though, snow is likely high of only 18 degrees Saturday and Sunday a high of 21 degrees. Still snow flurries are possible, but Monday we finally get a break from the snow. Whew, high of 26 degrees, mostly cloudy sky. And continue to follow AkronNewsNow.com for the latest local news and weather developments as they happen. The Cleveland man charged with killing 11 women and hiding their remains in and around his home has withdrawn his plea of not guilty by reason of insanity. Anthony Soule's plea was changed to not guilty during a pretrial hearing on Wednesday. The plain dealer reports that the switch was made after the judge asked if Soule could be sent to a psychiatric clinic for evaluation. His attorney says it's too early for that because the defense still has not had Sowell's military records or prison and medical records to look over. The plea could change later on. More pink slips for safety forces, this time in Portage County. Within the next week, 15 Portage County Sheriff deputies will receive layoff notices. The Record Courier reports that Sheriff David Doak says the layoffs will be made by seniority throughout several areas, including road patrol, dispatch, and the jail corrections unit. And it's no secret that it is hard for small businesses to obtain loans. Congressman John Bocherry will meet with local business leaders in Medina County today to address the issue of freeing up lending. We need to do more to get money to our small businesses. And that's been a big uh, problem is that we've seen some, some of our larger banks uh, have not been lending to our small businesses. And they've actually cut the lines of credit where that credit has been used to float payroll for one, two, three, four months. Uh, that's now gone, and we find more and more people are on unemployment rolls because of that. So we're working hard to try to change that, uh, working w within the parameters of keeping uh, you know, uh, go the government in check with respect to what we do with banks. Jewelry and furniture retailers top the local Better Business Bureau's 2009 list of most complaints, and there's more that made the list. Cable and satellite providers, car dealers, both new and used, work at home companies, general contractors, banks, collection agencies, and roofers round out the top 10. Now, Mario's International Spa and Hotel, Powerhouse Gym, and Karam's Companies has also made the most unanswered complaints list. Well, it's easy to get off track and fail at your New Year's resolution into the new year. But one local gym offers advice on how to stay trim and motivated if your goal is fitness oriented. As many hit the treadmill to trim their waistlines in the new year, Akron General Medical Center's Lifestyle Fitness offers tips on how to stay on track all year long. Find things that they like to do. Um, certainly if people... Um, put themselves in a position where they are going to enjoy the activity, they're more likely to do it. Um, so that would be the first thing. Um, secondly, find a place that they can exercise, whether it would be a local club or maybe at home somewhere where they're not going to be distracted. Um, and then thirdly, um, picking times that they can exercise several times per week so they can be successful with their goals. Um, you know, making sure that they put it on their calendar and plan it like a, a normal activity or an appointment um, makes them usually much more uh, compliant with their activities. Continue to follow AkronNewsNow.com for the latest local news for News Online on demand now. For Akron News Now, I'm Lindsay McCoy.